Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger Militia, and today I'm reviewing the Evil Travel Case from Evil Controllers. Let's go! Alright, I know this is the part where I'm supposed to say like and subscribe, but it's my least favorite part of every video I personally watch, and I don't think it's good for the channel long term. I don't want you liking the video and subscribing just because I said so. I'd much rather you like it because you actually enjoyed it, and subscribe if this is the kind of thing that you're actually into. Enough preaching, let's get on to the review already. This review is a little bit different because it's not a headset, so not all of my 8 categories that I use to review headsets actually applies. In this video, I'm judging the travel case on four categories. Design and style, build and durability, compatibility with Xbox, and then price and value. This is the most subjective part of the review, but hey, it's my review. The whole thing is just me telling you my opinion of this thing that I bought for myself. Wow, I just realized how self-centered this whole process is. Anyway, this Evil Controller travel case looks awesome. It's a hard shell case with a very nice rubber Evil Controllers patch sewn to the top. On the inside, there's a soft to the touch but firm piece of foam cut to the shape of your Xbox One controller. In the top of the lid, it has a zippered pouch for your controller charging cable, extra batteries, or any other small accessory you want to fit in there. I'm so pleased with the way it looks and feels. My crappy photography doesn't do it justice at all. This is possibly the most important section of the video. Damn, why did I put it second? I should have put it last, so you watch the whole video, and YouTube thinks my content is awesome. Oh well, next time. It's important because this is the reason you're thinking about buying a case in the first place. Hey, that rhymes. You want something to protect your controller, and that thing has to be able to take some hits and keep your controller safe, and this thing from Evil Controllers does exactly that. Roll the clip. Uh, just kidding, I don't really have a clip. The quality of the build is super solid. This is a hard shell case with well-made zippers and foam that feels like it will last. This might surprise you, but I don't recommend throwing yours off of a roof or running it over with a car because, well, that's honestly stupid, but I travel a lot for work and I bring my Xbox with me everywhere, and I can say that this case is not going to break in your luggage, even if the people loading the plane are on drugs. One last thing because I know for those of you who Tetris the F out of your luggage, the dimensions of this case are 8 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter by 4. And that's in inches because the US uses inches and I know the rest of the world uses the metric system, but I don't know. That's just the way we work over here. Obviously, this controller case was designed specifically for an Xbox One controller, so it's 100% compatible, but it's also designed to accommodate all of the evil Xbox One controllers, as well as all of the Xbox One Elite and Elite Series 2 controllers with the paddles installed. But if you don't want to leave them on the controller, you can always drop them in the zippered pocket. This controller travel case costs $19.95 and can be purchased via Evil Controller's website. It's an absolute steal at $19.95. It's way nicer and way more protective than any picture will show you. I feel 100% confident that my controller will make it through a trip, whether that's flying or driving. They have done an absolutely great job with this case and are basically giving it away at this price. If you're interested in buying this controller case, I've put a link in the description below pointing you to Evil Controller's website. Make sure you use code MILITIA at the checkout to receive a 5% discount on your order. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy gaming. Trigger out.